So previously, we looked at x ticks over here, and we saw that if your values change over here in the data, then your x tick suddenly becomes a bit of a problem because you have to manually specify the values for the x tick. So as we saw in this graph, what we ended up with was the values got squished over here uh, because they only go up to the maximum of 3, but our data point actually went up to 20 over here, and 9 for the x-axis. So the y-axis went up to 20, and as we saw over here, there 20 there is no value because we specified 3 and 6 as the maximum. So a way to resolve this problem is by using GCA function over here. GCA functions basically allow you to access the axes for x and y. What we are doing is we are accessing the y axis and the x axis. So this function makes this available to us. So it accesses this variable in the background. And then what we can do is we can call a function on here. So this is called set major locator and set major locator for both for the y axis and the x. And then within here it takes in a parameter. So the parameter that it takes in is coming from the plot library class that we have. So so over here we had the high plot class and if we go down back over here so it has a class called max nl locator so this class actually takes in this argument over here where integer is false so what we are doing is if we set that as false and we will get decimals but if we set that as true and if i set that as true over here and true over here to read this over here you can see that we have value going up to 20 and 9 over here and if we look at our graph over here and you can see this time around that the values go up to 20 and the values go up to 9 over here and our graph works as expected notice that we did specify that there be no integers and those are shown correctly if we reduce this and see the effect of the integer value so if we change this to force so here I've changed both of these values to false and if I change the values here, so if I reduce this to back to our original numbers that we had and if I run this and you can see by default we get decimal places in our tables here for both axes. So what we can do is if we set one of them as true, so we will set the y axis over here and we'll set the value for this one to true. So we shouldn't get any uh, decimal places over here. So now I've set this to true. Let's see what happens over here with the value of 6 and 5.75. So I will just click the execute button over there and you can see that what has happened over here is we have the value of 6 over here and 5 over here and it has nothing in here as decimals whereas previously this had decimals. This is because we set this to true or integers but I want you to notice for the x-axis, it's still set as false. If we scroll down over here, and you can see that the x-axis still has decimals shown because set this as false for integers. So I just want you to be aware that when you are working, setting the tick mark, you can use the GCA to, to get the access to the axis. And then you can use this function here, set major locator, pass it this class over here, and it has a parameter for integers. So rather than manually, so if we go up here, rather than manually specifying the tick mark over here, and then when your data changes, you end up with a problem like this, where your values are over here, 6 and 3, but your data has now expanded even further, and you don't end up with any tick marks on your graph. So rather than use this over here, you should use this over here using the DCA x-axis, access the axis, and then set major, and then pass it to the following parameter, and it will do the rest for you.